So you've got a small problem. You have a laptop and you want to stream or record your gameplay with your laptop. But the problem is that your laptop is not so powerful that it can efficiently stream or record your gameplay as you play games. Your game will most likely be affected by the recording or streaming. So you want to know, now that I have a laptop that most likely has an Nvidia card, mobile Nvidia card, you want to know what is the most efficient way, what is the most efficient way to record my gameplay without affecting my gameplay performance. That's what you want to know, right? So if you're here, you've probably come across OBS and you want to know well I'll just use OBS to record and then I can either use X264 or NVN NVENC now I don't suggest on using X264 because it, it jacks up the CPU usage a lot and then uh, your laptop will get really hot and then some games that rely on CPU quite a bit you'll get some like I suggest using NVENC that's what I've been using all this while I've been using OBS the encoder NVENC inside OBS I thought that you know it was optimal I was wrong because just yesterday I tried using Nvidia's Shadow Play which by default uses NVENC. You know what? Let me just show you some videos recorded using OBS and Nvidia Shadow Play to prove my point. All I'm trying to show is that by using OBS to record it has a much greater impact on your system and it really affects your gameplay rather than using Shadow Play that really utilizes the power from your mobile graphics card and gives you a really good performance in game. <clears throat> so here let me show you this first video. This first video is a video of me using OBS and the NVENC encoder. I'm playing in 1080p 60 but I'm recording in 1080p 30. Now the video looks fine, the gameplay is pretty smooth, I'm just playing with two bots here. It's definitely not as smooth as when I'm not recording anything but it's not as bad as what I'm about to show you. This is me recording using OBS, NVENC and outputting a 1080p 60 file. As you can see, it's very, very choppy. It's very hard to play, and no one would be watching your streams or recordings if you were making these kinds of videos. So just by changing the limit in OBS from 30 FPS to 60 FPS, this is the huge impact that I come across. Now, I'm gonna show you the recording I made using Shadowplay. Now this is the recording made using Shadowplay at 1080p 60 FPS. I don't know why, but it seems that when using NVENC as the encoder in OBS, I don't think it's as optimized as it is for Shadowplay because the gameplay in Shadowplay is almost flawless. It's almost as if I'm not recording anything at all. It's almost as if Shadowplay is not even running in the background. If you didn't tell me that I was recording, I wouldn't even know because the performance hit is so minimal. I'm playing just as normal, the frame rates are fine, the, the video looks great. So here's the conclusion to this video. If you don't need the flexibility that OBS provides, like putting overlays, putting chat overlays from Twitch, putting donation goals, putting banners, as if you were a Twitch streamer, if you don't need these things, if you just want to stream or record your videos clean, and maybe put your camera, because that's available in Shadowplay, maybe put your face on the side of the screen, then I would suggest using Shadowplay if you have an Nvidia graphics card or an Nvidia laptop. Because, because unless your laptop is a beast running a desktop 980, 970, or anything above what I have, which is a 960M, you probably wouldn't be facing these problems with OBS. But because of the limited horsepower of the graphics card in your laptop, this is the best way to ensure that you have a good recording and a good gameplay to record. And I guess that's about it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you love the video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer them quick. If you want me to make any other kinds of videos, I'd be glad to. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.